In this video, we will look at how you can run a meeting from start to finish. In the previous video, we looked at how you can set up a meeting and how you can join the meeting. Remember, if you have invited someone from outside of the organization's directory, for example, a healthcare professional from another country to join the meeting, they will need to use the email invite link to join that was sent to them when you scheduled the meeting. Using this email link will mean that they will be able to join the meeting via the web browser version of Microsoft Teams, and so they don't need to download any applications or have a Microsoft account. For everyone within your organization, they can go to their calendar and click on the meeting, or the second option is to click on the Teams tab on the left-hand navigation panel and click on their team. Within the general tab, they will see the meeting notice and they can click on this. Whichever way you do it, the same screen will appear. You can click join to enter the meeting. If you are not the organiser or presenter for the meeting, you may have to wait in the waiting lobby until they have joined the meeting. Once you are able to enter the meeting, you can choose to have your device's camera and microphone on or off. Once you have joined the meeting, you may get a pop-up message saying that there are people waiting in the waiting lobby. You can let them in by clicking on the tick in the waiting lobby. Since I only have one person in this demo meeting, I can only see one screen on my screen. However, if you have multiple people on the screen, you will see multiple windows with lots of faces if they switched on their camera. By moving the cursor or clicking on the screen, an options panel appears near the bottom of the screen. Depending on the role that you have in the meeting, the options may differ. I'm currently the organiser and presenter of this meeting. This means I have a few more options available, such as sharing my screen or to mute all participants within the meeting. To mute all participants in the meeting, Click on the Show Participants option on the bottom panel. If you're in a meeting with more than one person, you'll notice a similar microphone symbol at the top of the attendees list, round about here. You'll be able to click on that microphone symbol and it will mute all the individuals in the meeting. As the presenter, you may wish to share your screen with everyone in the meeting. To do this, click on the Share button on the Options panel. To share a website you've already opened up, click here. To stop sharing your screen, click here. To share a PowerPoint, Click on the opened PowerPoint. You can now go through your PowerPoint delivering the content. Attendees will be able to see and hear what you are saying. To stop presenting, Click the Stop Share button. A useful feature is the chat window in the meeting. If microphones have been muted, you may wish to ask participants to post questions or comments on the meeting chat. This will help you as the presenter to address anything that is being raised. A new raise a hand feature will soon be rolling out to Microsoft Teams, which will allow you to see if participants would like to speak. This will be useful if you have muted all participants as microphones. You as the presenter can then unmute that person's microphone so that they can be heard. Clicking on the three dots on the bottom options panel provides you with further options. As the presenter, you can choose to record the meeting 
by clicking on the Start Recording. This will display a warning on the top of the screen and in the chat window to all participants in the meeting and those who join late to the meeting will know that it's being recorded. This is a very useful feature as it allows you to share the recording of the meeting if anyone was absent. To stop the recording, click on the three dots again and click Stop Recording. You will then need to confirm the action by clicking on the confirmation window. The recording will then start to be saved into Microsoft Streams and it can then be posted on your team's general channel for everyone to review again after the meeting. To end the meeting, click on the three dots again and click End Meeting. This has just kicked everyone out of the meeting and has closed the meeting altogether. I'd recommend for large meetings, you end the meeting. It is possible for others to create their own meetings to carry on conversations afterwards. Please leave any comments or questions you have on Microsoft Teams in the comments section below and I'll do my best to help.